taking myself out on a date today. I'm sure if you're watching this, you've maybe like seen a few of these types of videos. I know a lot of people are trying to reconnect with themselves by hanging out with themselves and just trying to be a little bit more at peace with being alone at times. I've always been like inspired by those types of videos. I have spent a lot of time on my own throughout my life. I was always more on like the shy and quiet side and especially like during summers, I would often just like drop off the planet and like literally not talk to anyone. <laughs> when I got into like late high school, I lost like the connection I had with myself. I started noticing that I felt uncomfortable being on my own. I started like getting anxiety about it and just feeling the pressure to always be doing something with like a bunch of friends. Being alone is definitely different from feeling loneliness. I want to incorporate a lot more alone time in my life because I feel like that gives me sort of independence and allows me to feel comfortable with myself and it's like a good measure of that like whether or not I can just do certain things on my own. This summer it's like my goal to be able to just go out and do things on my own. Obviously it's more comfortable to go out with a friend or even like a few friends social anxiety is like very low at that point but i want to be able to like go out and do nice things for me so that is kind of where this whole thing stems from this whole like going on a date on your own i think is like especially special you're showing yourself a certain amount of care and love that you would typically invest in someone else and this is just putting that all into yourself. And I think that's very important. It's easy to think of like, oh, but I spend a lot of time on my own, just like in bed watching TikTok or like studying or doing work or like just something like that. It's like a different type of care for yourself. This is like specifically you are just doing this because you want to show yourself appreciation and also just learning how to manage with social anxiety. So I'm just gonna tell you the three steps we're going to. First, I want to read outside. I think that's like so fun and cool and I really want to do that. So I'm going to do that. Next, I want to get myself flowers and like a little treat from Trader Joe's. And third, I wanted to get coffee. But yeah, so I will be going into detail obviously with all of that stuff. So I hope you enjoy. Let's jump right into the video. reading outside. I always love when I see people reading outside, either online or just out in public. I think it's so nice to read outside. I actually went to the beach the other week and I read on the beach like every single day and it just felt nice, especially for summertime. It's really great to just get outside and read a book. The book I am bringing with me today is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. I've read this book like five times already so this is a little reread but if you don't know Agatar is my favorite series. I feel like I say that every single video now but it is and I just I need to tell someone about it so I'm telling you. This is the second book in the series and I absolutely love this book. Rise and as I was saying, reading outside is just so special and it makes me feel so romantic about summertime. This is like my first time doing like a whole little date by myself type of thing. So I think this was like the perfect activity because it's not necessarily something that I would 
feel uncomfortable doing alone in the sense of I wouldn't be constantly thinking like if someone else were here, maybe I'd feel more comfortable. I was initially thinking like, oh, I need to like go out to eat by myself, but I will make a series of this, like going on dates alone, if you'd like to see that. But going out to eat alone is something that makes me the most nervous. And I know like so many people do it. That's just like, for some reason, the height of my social anxiety, which, you know, I don't know if any of you can relate, but I feel like if I did that, that would be like the defining moment where I'm like, yeah, I can do anything alone. <laughs> my second activity, going to Trader Joe's, getting flowers and getting little treats. I loved going to Trader Joe's and looking through their flowers. I think they have really good and affordable flowers. I absolutely adore flowers. I love giving them. I love getting them for myself. I love receiving them, anything. I just think they're so special. The last thing is getting coffee, getting a little something to drink. This is also along the same lines where I feel like I need to have a purpose to like get a coffee. It's a special treat when you go outside, you know, and you get it. And I also actually got one for my friend. I thought I would get her a coffee as well. It's, it's just a nice little treat sometimes, you know, like I treat myself and I treat my friends. All right, and that is everything I did today in my little date by myself. It was very fun. I really enjoyed doing this. It's a special time and it's like you're setting aside time to show yourself some self-care, some self-love. And I think that's so important, especially like when things are so stressful and there's a lot going on or if you're feeling lonely. I think I definitely want to do this again in the future or like just you know, do like a little mini series of like going on dates by myself because I feel like I have a lot to do in terms of being okay with being alone. More specifically, going out and being alone. I want to minimize this pressure that I have to be surrounded by friends and have like a giant friend group or always just be doing stuff with other people. Although all that stuff is like very nice and stuff, you can't control a lot of that. I also just know that I am more of an introvert, so it takes me a little bit longer to find those things. I think that's all I have to say for now. Thank you so much for watching again. I hope to see you in another video. Goodbye. Thank you.